we had just seen earlier that IP addresses can be written in a variety of different formats. We already also know that every domain name or URL has a unique IP address version of itself. So say for example, if you look at the screen now, you will see yahoo.com which is a domain name. Now yahoo.com has a respective IP address which happens to be 87.248.113.14. Now this is what typically an IP address looks like wherein it has been written in the decimal notation format. However, this decimal notation format of an IP address can easily be converted into a variety of different formats like hexadecimal, D word value, binary format and even octal format. So now let us learn how easy it is for you to convert an IP address into all these different formats. Now in order to convert a decimal notation IP address into its respective hexadecimal format, all you need to do is if you open the network security book which has been given to you as your textbooks, then in the first chapter you will see a table which contains the decimal to hexadecimal conversion rules that you need to follow. So all you need to do is follow that table and you should easily be able to convert this IP address into a respective hexadecimal format which has now been displayed on the screen. Now what if you wanted to now convert this IP address into its respective D word value format. Now in this case you don't require any tables. All you need to do is click on start, click on run and type calc.exe and start the windows calculator. Once you have done that you need to then select hex in the calculator. Then you need to copy and paste the hexadecimal format into the calculator and once you have done that you need to simply click on the decimal option. As soon as you click on the decimal option the D word value of this particular IP address has now been displayed as output. As simple as that. Now if you want the binary format of the IP address then all you now need to do is simply click on the bin or binary option and as you can clearly see on the screen the binary option of the IP address has now been displayed. And finally if you wish to convert an IP address into its octal format then all you need to do is start your calculator, select decimal and one by one you need to enter all 8 bits of the IP address as input. So first of all I am going to type 87 then I am going to select octal and as you can see it throws 127 as the output. Now whatever output you receive you need to precede that with a 0. So in this case the first 8 bits in the octal format become 0127 which is of course the octal format of the decimal notation 87. Now we move on to the next 8 bits which is 248. Oops, before that I need to select decimal. So I select decimal, type 248, select octal and as you can see 370 is the output. So I write 0, 370 and so on. So getting the octal format of an IP address is equally easy. Now that you know how to convert an IP address into different formats, how can you actually use the various different IP address formats to actually bypass filtering mechanisms and access your favorite website on the internet. So let me start my browser and if you notice first of all I am going to copy and paste yahoo.com in the browser box and as you can clearly see on the screen within a few seconds yahoo.com has been displayed on the screen. But what if your college or your company has blocked the domain name yahoo.com? then all you need to do is copy and paste this decimal notation into the browser, press enter, keep your fingers crossed and as you can clearly see the Yahoo homepage has again gotten displayed. So you successfully managed to connect to the Yahoo website even though yahoo.com had been blocked by your college authorities. Similarly, you can actually try typing 
all the various different formats of an IP address and hope that you are able to access the particular website. I like to bring to your notice sometimes as you can now see on the screen, not all formats actually end up working. Sometimes a browser rejects it, but sometimes your the website that you are trying to access also rejects such a request.